The primary aim of critical thinking, and science in general, is to try and derive what we might call objective knowledge. Critical thinking is not philosophy where we might be searching for some form of absolute truth with a capital T. Critical thinking and science are much more practical in their nature. Rather than aiming for an absolute truth, they are looking for knowledge that works. That is to say, knowledge that remains relevant under scrutiny from many different perspectives and within many different frames of reference. This is objective knowledge in that it is not contingent upon a specific subject or context, but is relevant to many different contexts. This objective knowledge we may call logic. Things in our world work in a particular way because of the logic governing them. When we understand that logic, we understand how they work. And this is a very practical measure of knowledge. With science and critical thinking, we're trying to develop standards and methods for deriving this objective knowledge about the world around us. And we can call this objective knowledge logic, where logic is simply the way things work. Thus, at the heart of critical thinking is this idea of logic. And in this section, we'll be exploring this very big and fundamental idea from a number of different perspectives.